Hey guys! So today I'm doing my New York City slash IMATS haul. I had so much fun in New York and IMATS. It was really like just a cool experience, especially IMATS, because I met people from YouTube that was like, I don't know, it was just so cool. I met my friend Gretchen there from YouTube. She makes videos. Seriously, I'm gonna put a link down below. Pause this video and go subscribe or I'm honestly judging you. I met her, her sister Lucy, and her friend Marissa, and they were seriously so awesome. It was so fun hanging out with them, and I met some subscribers at IMATS, and that was awesome. And it was really just a cool experience. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really get much from IMATS, just a few things. So I'm going to kind of throw them in this whole video with the clothing I got, because on Thursday and Friday, I just did some shopping with my mom, which was fun because New York City is literally the best place to shop. Don't mind my hair, I'm really not sure what's going on right now. Um, I curled it yesterday and then I took a bus back home. <laughs> yeah, and then I slept on this and then I don't really know what happened. So let's just not look at it. And my outfit, like basically I just threw on something from my closet because I was wearing pajamas all day. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to start off with the stuff I got from IMAX. First of all, I got this fabulous bag. Um, yeah, and then I only bought nail polish. What a surprise, right? Because I totally need nail polish not. I have way too many, but it was China Glaze 5 for 15, which is amazing because that's $3 each and they're normally like 7 or 8. So yeah, and I got this nice little disposable China Glaze bag. Holler. So first I got custom kicks. Ooh, hashtag shoe game. Um, it's just this teal color with some shimmer. They're not exactly showing up true to color. This is more like a tealy green. But uh, yeah. Then I got this really cool blue called Frostbite. It's super shimmery. I don't have a shimmery dark blue. Actually, I probably do. Who knows? But um, I really like this one. It's really pretty. And me gusta. I got this bluey undertoned purple thing called Tantalize Me. Seductive. Um, yep. I got this plain hot pink just because I really don't have a good one. And I enjoyed this a lot called Fuchsia Fanatic. And lastly, I got this dark purpley blue shimmery thing called Temptist. So that's what I got from IMATS. I was really planning on buying more makeup, but it was really more of a thing for makeup artists, I would have to say. It was more costumey makeup. And the Stila booth, which I was going to buy stuff from, the line was literally wrapped around so many times and I would have waited in line for like an hour so I really just didn't think I needed any of that. First I went to get a pair of shoes. I really wanted to get Vans this trip. I want to get Maroon Vans but they didn't have them at any of the stores so I'm going to have to order them. For some reason whenever I go to New York I buy a pair of shoes. I think it's just because they have awesome shoe stores. Um, David Z's is probably my favorite. They literally have the best brands. But I went into Steve Madden and I really wasn't planning on buying anything. But I've wanted the Trooper Boots in stone leather for the longest time, and they don't have them anywhere where I live, but they don't sell the stone leather ones. So I just never got them, and I saw them in the store, and it's no tax there, so I kind of just went for it. So they look like this. They're like the really popular Trooper Boots. I have them in black, so I know I like them. But they're just this really cool kind of like taupey grayish brown color, and they're just really distressed looking, which I love, and... I don't know. I think I'm going to need a lot of use out of these because I feel like I'll wear these with skirts and dresses more. And I think they are nice and cute. And these were $99, which is a lot, you know, I know, but um, no tax and they're real leather. And I wear combat boots all the time, so I love these. Okay, I got one thing from Forever 21. I really didn't go shopping in there too much because I have a massive one where I live. But I was looking for this one vest. I really want a vest that's like a cargo, like army green jacket, only a vest. And I, there was one Forever 21 that I wanted and mine and they never had my size. So I was looking for it there and they never had it. But I just got this tank top and it's white and it's like crocheted up here. And then it has a little ruffle at the bottom with some more like details or whatever. I'm kind of leaning more into like bohemian kind of stuff lately. At least my style is... Maybe not. I don't really know, but I thought this was really cute and it would be look really nice in the summer with a tan. This one's kind of similar, but I don't really ever wear this. Um, so yeah, I really like this and it was $15.80. Next I went to Zara because I don't have a Zara where I live. And one thing I wanted to find in New York was a pair of light yellow jeans because I love colored jeans. I honestly don't wear regular jeans anymore. I only wear colored jeans. 
I mean, I do wear jeans once in a while, but mostly I wear colored jeans. And I really wanted a light yellow pair. I'm kind of into yellow all of a sudden. I don't know why, but I saw this pair at Zara, and they were decently priced, and they fit. So I got them, and they're just light yellow jeans. They were... Oh, I don't know, it's in euros, like 25 euros. I don't know what that converts to, but it wasn't awful, so I got them. Next I went to Necessary Clothing, and I got two things. The other thing I was looking for in New York were mint green jeans, because I wanted them for the longest time, and I just never found the right ones. These ones were absolutely perfect. Hold on, my alarm is going off. Anyways, these ones are absolutely perfect. They're kind of expensive, but, you know, whatever. They're from the bland... Bleh, they're from the bland? They're from the brand Flying Monkey, which I've only ever seen when I go to, like, New York or California. But they're really nice quality jeans, and they're just this perfect mint green color. Like, these are the perfect pants that I've been looking for. Um... Yeah, these were $42.99, which were kind of pricey, but I figured since I've been looking for them for so long, I might as well just get them. And the next thing, or the last thing I got from Necessary Clothing was this sweatshirt thing, and I actually saw this online at Toby, I believe. And I really wanted it, but they ran out of my size, and it was like $40, so I wasn't going to like not get my size in it. And I found it at Necessary Clothing for $20, so bargain, and it's like this kind of weird greenish gray colored sweater with skulls on it with like flowers and I know I'm kind of getting out of the skull trend but I still really liked this and I actually have a scarf that kind of matches it not that I'd wear them together I'll show you it's just chilling here but see it has like skulls on it and I just really like that pattern I wear that scarf all the time so I figured this would be really cute with like black leggings and my black combat boots and this is so soft so I figured it was a good deal and I would get it Okay, then I went to Urban Outfitters. I was looking for this specific tank top because Alexandra XO, I think, showed it in her haul video and I really liked it. So, this is what it looks like. It's like this tie dye kind of pattern thing and then it has a rose gold zipper in the front. And it kind of like is like a shark bite kind of thing in the front, which is really cute. And it's really soft and I think it's nice. And this was... My hair is literally a mess. This was $29. I mean, whatever. I think it's really cute. As I was browsing Urban Outfitters, I found these ear cuffs just chilling. Um, and I really like them. It's a set of three ear cuffs. It was $16, which isn't completely awful. But I don't know how to put them on. Like, okay. This is what they look like. There's this one that has like a orange and teal stone. This one with a little feather, which is probably my favorite. And then this one with like this cool design thing. And like I tried to put it on and it would just fall off my ear. So I don't know if I'm going to have to return these or if there's like a certain way to put them on. Let me know because they would just like flop off and it didn't look really cute. Okay, the last place I went was Brandy Melville because that was my most exciting place to go to because I love Brandy Melville. Once again, it has like that bohemian kind of feel and that's really what I like lately. Um, and I was really looking forward to it. So... First thing I got was just, they gave me this little thing with my purchase. I don't really know what it is, like a little coin purse thing, and it came with like stickers in it or something. I don't know why they gave it to me. Did they give it to everyone? Who knows, but it has some um, stickers. This that says, beware of dumb beezies. I don't know what that means. I feel like I should. I feel like it's something really trendy and cool, and I'm just not trendy or cool. So, uh, I'm not really sure. Um, this one has the infinity love sign, and this one says, Los Angeles, New York, and then they give me some little card thing. So, yeah, I don't really know. Maybe I'll stick these somewhere. But the coin, pur the coin purse is cute. I'm so awkward. Okay. First, I got this taupe kind of cropped tank top thing. And they had it on the mannequin with a bralette under it that looked adorable. And then, of course, they didn't have the bralette selling anymore. But I'll probably get that eventually. And it's just a really cute kind of crop taupe tank top. I love taupe. Next I got one of the pair of their little ruffle shorts that are chiffon. Or not chiffon, but this material. And some people might think these are really ugly or really short. But I actually kind of like them. I have another pair of those that I'll show you in a minute. But I think these look kind of cute with this tank top. So yeah, we'll see these. The only thing is they go up kind of high on the sides. So they're kind of short on the sides. But... These were only $10, so that's a steal. 
by the way, this was like 17 I think. Um, yeah, so I got these. The reason I got those is because I actually got another pair from PacSun before when. And PacSun sells Brandy Melville. Like, since when? I went in there and they had these shorts. I didn't get these in New York, but I figured I'd just show them anyways. They're like the same style, only they have little daisies on them. And they're Brandy Melville from PacSun, except they were $17 there and 10 at Brandy Melville, so whoops. But, um, yeah, they're really cute. And try your PacSun if you want Brandy Melville stuff. There wasn't, like, a huge selection, but it was still, like, cute stuff, so... Okay, and then I got, like, the sweater that I think everyone and their mother owns from Brandy Melville because I wanted to wear it to iMats. Um, I wore a really cute dress to iMats with this sweater, and I thought it would match because it was cold in New York. Oh, well. And it's just this oversized, quite large, baggy, oatmeal-colored sweater. And it's really soft and comfy, and I love it. Brandy's sweaters are kind of expensive, though. This was $52, but, you know, it's really cute, and I love it. It smells pretty good, too, so, yeah. The final thing I got from Brandy was this headband, and it has this floral pattern on it, like so, and it's really cute, like, no, what am I doing? No, okay, whatever. I'll probably wear this with a bun because, oh, sexy. Um, yeah, I'll probably wear this with a bun, and I just think it's cute with a little bow. So, yeah, that was my New York City slash I rent haul. Um, I got a pretty good amount of stuff. I'm really happy with everything that I got. I brought everything with my own money. I promise you. And yeah. Do you guys want to see what I got for Easter? Ah! Ah! No! I got the dolphin pillow pet. Literally best Easter present of my whole entire life. Like it is so cute. And then when you undo it, it's just so fat. <gasps> I love it. I don't know why I threw this in here. He was just kind of sitting on my bed all lonely. So yeah. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.